Hey, uh, it's New Year's Eve, and uh, we're getting ready for our annual um, New Year's run for tomorrow. And I'm actually sitting around charging batteries. And I'm going to go through our trucks here in a sec. Um, but I did start tearing down the Scout. And this is just a basic, really basic conversion I did by sticking these SCX-10 rails uh, up through the wraith chassis of this, um, of this truck. There's a few holes that are drilled in and a few little cross members um, to hold everything on. I've just been using these simple um, wire ties. I guess you call them cable clamps um, to hold the chassis, the chassis and the frame together. So after New Year's is over, then I get a minute. Um, that is going to get tore down and put under here and mocked up for our update of the Scout. Uh, I already have wheels torn apart. I have tires sitting there. <clears throat> I did some fitting on um, some steel wheels I had, but I have some other ones coming that are a little bit more scale in appearance. So I have my uh, Proline BFG KO2s and some older uh, shaved crawler, called Crawler Innovation Foams. Um, and then up here, we have bags of stuff. And here are the steel goods from Wordy Made. There's some electronics. Um, and steel spur gear and steel pinion gear. And those are going to be all the upgrades I do to this truck. Um, it's really not much. It's just more updating it more than upgrading it. Uh, let's see here. I will have to fit the lighting um, from the uh, A5L that has the light plugs on it. It's only got a white and a red set on there, but still I can put tail lights and I can put headlights. And I also have, have been running a, if it's in here somewhere, um, there's a two inch Proline Racing LED light, um, light bar. And that's all I'm gonna do for lights. I'm not gonna worry about rock lights or anything else. It'll be sitting way too low to worry about rock lights. Uh, if I get a chance, maybe some dash lights. I have to shore up the dash and stuff in this chassis. You see driver guys still sitting in there. I haven't pulled them out yet. But I have to shore up that chassis a little bit, or that dashboard. And I have to kind of redo my windshield. I lost one of the pillars um, that goes on the windshield. So I've got to make one of those. And clean it up a little. So we'll come back some other time and see where we got. All right. Well, I'm done with our little uh, run. And I am ready to start on the Scout rebuild. And this is what's left of the trail honcho. And honestly, this is pretty much all I needed from the truck to begin with. I didn't need the wheels and tires. I didn't need the body. And I didn't need the bumper. Um, now everything else that's in here is probably going to get moved around and changed and reconfigured. Um, but, you know, a lot of this truck really wasn't needed. Um... And I didn't really need to buy the other option truck that had metal everything and whatnot. So this will actually work out for me. The wheelbase on this is just a little bit longer than what actually goes on the Scout that's sitting right down here. I believe it's about five and or excuse me, twelve and seven eighths for a wheelbase, um, and this is twelve inches. So I will have to get this set under the scout and we'll have to measure it out.
and figure out what links can stay and what links have to go. Chances are they'll all have to go because my know for a fact my front links are shorter than these front links. Fortunately, uh, I should have plenty of links left over from this previously. Um, if not, I have a box down here that I keep a bunch of link and link making stuff in. If not, I'm actually going to make a set of links out of um, 832 all thread and some, I think it's a quarter inch brass tubing. So yeah, that's all that's left of this. Uh, one of our lucky people actually drew the number 13 from our from our um, gift bucket right there. See all the numbers in there? And they won that body. I actually pulled the body posts off because I wouldn't be needing those either. You can see the body posts are gone. So I actually unscrewed those, which is really cool. These are actually, I believe it's the same way with the regular 10-2. Um, these are actually screwed in and not pinned in. So that when you put your body posts in there, they're not going to come out. If the pin falls out on the old style, then your body would be flopping around this way. Because that post would be bouncing around if it didn't fit in there tight. But on these, they're actually screwed in. And they actually have the same style pin as the old... Um, actually, no, I think it's a drive shaft. It's one of the old... One of the drive shaft pin styles, the through pins. Right there. So yeah, this will get reconfigured once I get it fit under the Scout. Um, I have been working on, initially I fought with, um, but I used the old um, axle stub trick, and I might do a little quick video on this somewhere else. Uh, but I have some of these G-Made steel wheels. They're actually really cool looking once you get them put together. Uh, I have one assembled right here. That, that's how they came from a user on uh, RC Crawler. But the tires that came on them are way too tall. These are Mad Beast, Pitbull Mad Beast tires. Um, these tires benefit a lot from a firmer foam. Uh, the stock foams are pretty soft and they like to roll a lot. So these actually have a two stage in them where the inside stage is pretty firm and the outside stage is a soft um, dual stage style foam. Uh, I think I have, that's the rear one. The front one is actually a lot softer so that this tire will actually collapse when you're climbing. Um, now I'm using uh, BFG KO2s from Proline. They had to be a little bit smaller than these. Um, and let's see if we can get them lined up here. You can see the difference between the two. That's a considerable size difference. I think uh, the Prolines are 4.30 inches and the uh, Mad Beasts are 4.70. So, you know, 4 tenths of an inch makes a lot of difference when you're trying to fit it under a truck this size. It's not very big and the wheelbase isn't very wide. If you can see how far, how big that looks versus how big this looks. It actually fits in there a little bit better. I wish I could have gone smaller, but mm, I kind of like the look of the larger look of these ko2s how they sit in there not too big um like these mad beasts so that's where the truck sits right now uh, i'm working on these wheels and tires um i have to do some switching i need to get a different cms plate on here the one that's on there is a single shear um, and i actually have a dual shear vanquish style here somewhere i have a bag right there of all the stuff that's going in the creature truck um some new bushings brass bushings for the uh c hubs and there's the dual shear um cms plate new servo i think i have an extension in there a new servo arm uh, i think that's all i'm doing to this truck uh, but as for the scout it's got everything going on the transmission has to be flipped still and i have to reconfigure the battery uh battery tray once it's in the truck, it might actually go, instead of um, length, long-wise, it'll have to go the width of the truck. But other than that, I think, other than flipping the trans, fitting the battery tray better, and changing the links, that's pretty much most of what's going to change with that. Um, up there, we also have some Holmes Hobbies motors. Uh, there's one there for the Scout. It's a 35-turn. 
and then I have a BC and uh, let's see here oh yeah look at that we have a whole setup of warty made products um, I've got a bumper sliders and a rear bumper so that front stubby is actually gonna be the one that fits in the scout itself so that's where we're gonna leave it for now um, that's where we've gone with this trail master excuse me with this trail honcho um, and we'll come back sometime and show you what else is going on